Good morning, it's freezing once again. Of course, yesterday, last night wasn't supposed to rain again. It rained. Um, it's very cold, very windy. I have a long hike today. So, a little earlier start than yesterday, but still probably get the start hitting the trail closer to nine, so not that early. Oh. Gotta fix my feet up. Let my feet air out. The blister gets a lot better. I'll put on this blister patch and then Luco tape again over it. And by the time I take it off, there'll be another big blister and underneath me. I don't know what to do. It's a little after 10. We've been, we started hiking at 9. We just did our first big climb of the day. Definitely was not as bad as yesterday's climbs. It wasn't as steep. It was long, but not steep. And then we got treated to this lovely view up here. Today's goal is to do 12 and a half miles to the next shelter. Uh, yesterday we only did like a little less than seven and a half, I think. And the elevation gain was more than it's going to be today. So that tells you a little bit about the climbs yesterday. So I think the big difference between Georgia and North Carolina is that the Georgia trails are a little bit more maintained than the North Carolina ones. There's been a lot of like kind of older down trees that haven't been like I don't know what they do. Saw them in the half. Like, I don't think there might have been one tree that we had to, like, go under or over in Georgia. But then there, there's been several just today. Oh, yeah, and the best part is that Justin didn't see one. I was in front of him. I didn't even have to duck. But he was looking down, watching my feet. And I just hear a loud bop. He just smacked his head super hard on it. It's not the first time Justin's ran, ran into a tree. <laughs> and most definitely will not be the last. So we were just wondering. This little bridge just used to be this log. There may have been one too many accidents. So if you're falling, well, it doesn't actually look that far, but it's not pretty. There's some pretty rocks though. Made it safely across. No need to fear. Made it to the first shelter, Standing Indian shelter. We still have. 7.6 miles left to go for the day. Almost to the top of this mountain. Standing Indian Mountain. Pretty up here. Down on a ridge line. Lots of flies. These dead trees. Stopped at a blue trail on top of Indian, what? Standing Indian, Standing Indian Mountain. 
lunch break. I think we're halfway done with the day. There's a little bit of a view. You can see right there. Honestly, I thought the hike up was a little boring. I think it was the first time I've been bored this whole time. But the view is amazing. It was worth it. The hike was a long, long hike up. But it was, the incline was very low. So it was like easy, but long. It was like never ending. Up, 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 up. Once again, took the blue trail, rewarded with amazing views. Oh, we can see a bird flying down there. We could see a lot of birds flying. Very cool. See the birds? I'm not sure. Yeah, a little bit. There is a camping up here. Like that. Be a great place to camp. Is that is your view. Do we go up to? Oh, we watch the sunset. It's so beautiful. Or there's even some daffodils starting to bloom up here. Okay, I'm going to share a little TMI right now. So if you guys don't want to hear about butt and poop talk, skip ahead a little bit. But... Every once in a while while hiking, I get like a spasm in my butt, like in my butt hole to be more specific. And it's kind of de debilitating. That's the word. Um, and it's like a shooting pain for like last like a minute to like 15 minutes. But it like stabs me in my tracks and it just hurts. I looked it up before, and I guess it's just something that happens to some people. Let me know if it happens to you. Um, and there's nothing you can do about it. You just have to wait for the pain to go away. Some people say you can, like, massage around the butt area, and that will help make it pass maybe a little quicker. But I'm not doing that. But... That just happened to me. So I was just sitting on the trail for like 15 minutes waiting for it to go away. Everyone's passing by and I'm just like, hey, how you do? How y'all doing? Anyway. But it's past and better. I think it might maybe have to do with not pooping for a couple of days. Because I feel like every other time it's gone I've gone like two days without pooping I haven't pooped today is Monday I haven't pooped since Friday so I think that with like my backpack like weighing down right there like those two things make for that special cocktail I get this is probably the fourth or fifth time it's ever happened to me first time on the trail Fingers crossed it's not a common occurrence. Bye. Okay, enough poop talk. The tree ate the sign. The bear sanctuary sign. But we've seen like this orange mark on a lot of trees and even some rocks. We have no idea what it means. Any guesses? What's your guess? Old trail marker or something. Old trail marker. The river. 
And it's just full of like down trees the whole way down. Pretty neat. Look at all these. Oh, even right here there's a bunch of down ones. Look at all these cool vines. Look how romantical this little area is. More of North Carolina's jungle gym. Oh. Keeps it a little entertaining. So many down trees here. Tonight's menu, or a pasta side. It's a little soupier than it should be. Um, I've heard that the rice ones are a little bit better than the pasta ones. Sometimes the noodles are a little crunchy. In a bigger bag. has been practicing his not tying skills. There. Far away from the tree. Far away from the ground. Got the best bear hang yet. Probably the best one we've ever done. <laughs> Hi folks, it's nighttime in the Appalachian Mountains. Bedtime. We did our longest hike yet, 12 and a half miles. Go us. My legs and feet kind of feel it, so I'm gonna take some pain medication to help me go to sleep. That'll be nice. Um, we are at Carter Something Shelter. It's not that busy. I feel like half the people we were with last night didn't go as far as we did and then the other most other half went further um but i'm just gonna end the video and go to bed um the next two days are gonna be easy days less than nine miles each into franklin and then we're gonna take a zero right, bye good night